Hi guys, uh, here we have a question that many students told me they are finding really difficult to understand and solve. So let's just try to make this question easy for you. Alright, so here we have a question which says a certain identification code consists of six digits. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six places and each of the digit is chosen from one to nine. Zero is not allowed. The same digit can appear more than once. So the repetition is allowed. If the sum of the first and third digits, let's call this is the first place, second place, third place, fourth place, fifth place, sixth place. So sum of the first and third digits is the fifth digit. All right. So let me just try to represent it by this color. Sum of the first and third places is coming at fifth place. Right. And now let's read the next line as well. And the next line says that sum of the second and fourth digits is equal to the sixth digit. That means this is second, this is fourth. So sum of these two places is coming at this place. So this is how the number has to be found. Sum of one and third place should be fifth place. Sum of second and fourth place should be sixth place. How many such identification codes are possible? Let's just quickly try to answer this question. So you see, let me just focus on one specific set of numbers. So I will simply focus on this condition. That means some of the first and third place has to be fifth place because the other case is exactly similar to the same. Now, because I understand that some of these two places is coming at this place and this place cannot be filled by any digit greater than nine. So let's assume if I fill it by nine, how many choices do I have? If I fill this place by nine, how many choices do I have to fill these two places? Let me just write it down this way. So I can make either one, eight, or likewise, I can go two, seven, or three, six, or four, five, five, four, six, three, seven, two, eight, one. So how many choices do I have to fill these two places if this place is filled with nine digit? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if this place is nine, we have eight ways to fill the remaining two places. Let's assume that this place is filled by a digit eight. Now let's see how many cho choices do we have to make the other two places. So if the fixed place is eight, then the other two places could be either one seven or two six or likewise, I can just keep going here. So that becomes three, five, four, four, five, three, six, two, seven, one. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ways to fill the other two places. That means now there is a pattern emerging. If I fill the last place, that means the fifth place with digit seven, how many choices do I have? So let me just fill these two places so that their sum becomes equal to seven. So I have one, six or two, five or three, four, four, three, five, two, six, one. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six choices. So you see there is a pattern emerging. If the place is fixed by digit six, then there are five ways and uh, likewise five, then there are four ways. And if that place is filled by digit four, then there will be three ways, three, two ways, two, just one way. So in how many ways can I fill these three places? The answer is this eight plus seven plus six plus five plus four plus three plus two plus one. So you can add them simply. There is a formula as well. That is one upon two n into n plus one. So that gives you 36. Okay, this is the sum. I'm just quoting that sum of one to n is given by one upon two n into n plus one. So that is one I have used. Otherwise you can just simply add them manually. There is no problem as such. Now these three places can be filled in 36 ways. So you understand with respect to these places, the place number two, four, six can also be filled in 36 ways. And therefore the total possible outcomes will be the square of 36, which is one, two, nine, six. And hence the answer to the question becomes option C. I hope you found it pretty simple, pretty easy this way. And if you really did, then please, please don't forget to subscribe the channel. Don't forget to like this video. I hope you understand it is really immensely helpful when you do that. Thank you so much for watching this video.